It is. It's interesting always to get a view from Her Majesty about how she's feeling and how she's coped. But by heck, didn't she look well in that video call? Oh, she certainly did indeed. Now, Buckingham Palace usually tries to keep medical details about the Queen uh, as private as possible, but the Queen herself chose to reveal details of how she was feeling when she had coronavirus, of course, a disease which affected so many others up and down the country in the last two years or so. She said that it left her feeling very tired and exhausted. We know she's had at least one coronavirus jab, but Buckingham Palace said she'd had her first dose in January 2021, and we're led to believe that she has had a further two doses since then. She contracted COVID in February 2022, but she continued with light duties all the way through and has recovered from that. Now, the Queen uh, on Wednesday was visiting the, well, did a virtual visit to the Royal London Hospital. She is patron of that hospital, and she was visiting the new Queen Elizabeth unit, which was um, which was built in just five weeks in response to the pandemic, has 155 beds. Um, and I suppose it was her chance to, we know that the Queen has had mobility issues recently, and it was her chance to kind of virtually visit uh, and pay tributes to NHS workers and meet patients virtually rather than in person. And I think uh, as time goes on, we might see her doing more and more of these virtual visits so she can keep vi- meeting British citizens as she has done for over 70 years.